Good morning to you. I'm Mike Trim. I'm Ashley Walters. Felicia's forecast is in less than two minutes. First, the morning's top stories for your Friday morning. Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies investigating a shooting that happened overnight. Officers were on the scene early this morning. It's happening on Okeechobee Boulevard, just east of the Turnpike. Crime scene tape surrounding a parking lot of a bar called Foster's 2, working to learn if anyone was injured or if any arrests have been made. In just a few hours, a judge will decide whether a man convicted of murder will spend the rest of his life in prison. James Morgan was 16 when he killed 66 year old Gertrude Turbovich in her steward home back in 1977. Legal changes led to this week's hearing. Martin County commissioners gave the OK to medical marijuana dispensaries with a few restrictions. Our partners at TC Palm report the dispensaries will have to follow the same restrictions as pharmacies. That means they can only operate in specific locations. St. Lucie and Indian River counties already have dispensaries of their own. New test results are in, experts say, showing blue-green algae in the St. Lucie estuary is becoming more toxic. Scientists took those samples less than a week ago at FAU's Harbor Branch in Fort Pierce. They were tested at six different sites on the Treasure Coast. The most toxic, they say, is at Shepherd Park and Stewart. The levels of toxins in the water, scientists say, are too dangerous to drink. Felicia, thanks a lot, Ashley. Another muggy but mild start to your morning. Mostly sunny, some filtered sunshine to start off with. Increasing cloud cover and an increasing storm chance. So some rain around by your lunch hour, but the highest rain chances will be around the afternoon, especially for our East Coast metro area. That could impact your afternoon commute. By the evening, a little bit of rain still hanging around, and then that clears out overnight. Your three-day forecast for your Father's Day weekend, hot and humid on Saturday, but rain chances are low. Lower overall each day, mainly just isolated rain and a few storm chances during the afternoon. I'd say pretty good for the weekend as a whole, though. You can see about a 30% chance of rain. Very warm overnight this weekend, though. Heading into next week, we do keep a little bit of rain around, but rain chances overall are lower. That's going to do it for now. For all breaking news sent straight to your smartphone, download our free WPTV mobile app. Make it a great day.